Multiple myeloma is another indication for CAR T cells. And we are very fortunate today having two constructs being approved in relapse refractory multiple myeloma, namely ID cell and SILTA cell. And both constructs are targeting BCMA, the B cell maturation antigen. And these CAR T cells in myeloma are really providing a big hope for many patients who are in need. So clearly, there is no doubt about the role of these CAR T cells in the management of relapse refractory multiple myeloma, especially those patients who received and uh, uh, relapsed after receiving the IMITS, the protosim inhibitors, and the anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies, the so-called, for instance, pentarefractory patient. Uh, obviously, in contrast, for instance, to uh, DLBCL lymphoma, it doesn't look like that there is a plateau in this disease setting in multiple uh, myeloma, because patients continue to relapse over time. There may be sub subtle differences between ID cell and SILTA cell. We need a little bit more follow-up to make sure that uh, uh, the results are uh, confirmed over the long term. However, it is important to notice that, and this happened just a few hours ago, that we have a randomized phase three trial, namely the KARMA three trial, showing the superiority of using CAR T cells in earlier lines uh, of relapse versus the best available therapy options. And this is really a turning point. And it's not only about the KARMA three trial, which has just been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. We have also a press release recently about the CARTITUDE four trial. Obviously, it's only a press release, but definitely the trial also met its primary endpoint, showing the superiority of the CAR T cells in multiple myeloma. So the field is moving rapidly, and probably we're going to be using these CAR T cells earlier in the course of the disease, and maybe in a couple of years, three, four years, I don't know, we will get also the results in first line, th in frontline therapy, because we have trials now ongoing in the elderly population against standard of care, but also uh, randomized trials against autologous stem cell transplantation. So you can appreciate that CAR T cells in multiple myeloma are here to stay, of course, I'm not minimizing the role of the other major immunotherapy tool, namely the bispecific antibodies T cell engagers, which are also leading to some very, very exciting results. And it's not only about BCMA being a target for CAR T cells or for the bispecific antibodies, but now we have constructs of CAR T cells, but also bispecific antibodies targeting other tumor antigen like GPRC5D, both for CAR T cells and bispecific, but we have also in bispecific the FCRH5. So the, this field is incredibly moving fast, and I think the treatment landscape will change, and the whole algorithm of the management of the patient will be modified in the near future. And this is always great news because at the end of the day, it's about improving the outcome of these patients and increasing the proportion of the patient who will live long and dwell. And that is the goal.